up guys today i'm going to go through how to edit these creative transitions in final cut pro so this first one is freeze frame of the second video clip rolling across the screen ending in like a glitch transition so here are my two raw video clips so first of all what i'm going to do is create a copy of the second video clip and i can just hold down alt on the keyboard and drag the video clip up to create a copy of it and then what i'm going to do is create a freeze frame of the beginning of the video clip so i'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and then press h and then i can just trim the end of this because all i want to keep is the freeze frame and then i'm going to drag the freeze frame over the top of my first video clip now what i need to do is cut out the subject in the frame that i want to transition onto the screen over the first video clip and that is a car in this one so what i'm going to do is go over to my effects tab and go down to masks and i'm just going to drag the draw mask effect onto the freeze frame and then i'm going to click and draw around the car but first i'm going to zoom in the more you zoom in the more accurate the mask is going to be and just start clicking to add points around the car and if you click and hold on the points you can drag these out to make the masks nice and curved so you can follow the lines of the of whatever you're drawing. So now that I have the car all cut out, this is where you can choose how you want to animate the freeze frame onto the screen. You can use effects to add like a glitch on, or you can use the transform tool to keyframe the freeze frame onto the screen from different directions. It's a pretty cool transition because you can get very creative with it and turn it into your own design. So for this one, what I did was added a transition onto it. So I'm going to click the beginning of the freeze frame, go over to my transitions tab. I'm going to use a slide transition. I'll leave the link to this one in the description if you wanna check it out. And then I'm gonna drag the transition to the end change the parameters. So now the transition is affecting the freeze frame and the video clip underneath. So what we need to do is turn this into a compound clip. So what I'm going to do is select the video and the transition by holding down command, clicking the freeze frame and the transition, and then right clicking on the freeze frame and selecting new compound clip. So now the, that transition that I added is only going to affect the freeze frame. And I'm also going to fade this on so i'm just going to use a cross dissolve transition so that it fades on and then what we're also going to do is add a glitch transition to the two video clips underneath the freeze frame so i'm going to select the video clip at the end there go to transitions and i'm going to find a nice glitch transition that i can use i'm going to use this vcr glitch transition double click that and that glitch transition just sort of ties it all together and cuts the freeze frame into into motion and i think that looks pretty cool now let's have a look at the second one the video clip is sort of split into two sections you have the car and the road and then animate them onto the screen so here are my two video clips and similar to the first transition what i'm going to do is start off by copying this second video clip and then i'm going to turn the first frame into a freeze frame so i'm going to hold down shift and press h and then just get rid of the rest of the video clip. So we're just left with the freeze frame. So I'm gonna to go to my effects tab, go to masks and just drag on the draw mask effect. And then I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna carefully draw around the edge of this car. Now that I have my mask drawn, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this freeze frame. So hold down Alt and drag the freeze frame up. And then on this top freeze frame, what I'm going to do is go over to my mask and click invert mask. So now we have a layer of the road and a layer for the car. A really easy way to animate this on instead of using keyframes, what I'm going to do is go to the transform tool, go to crop and then go to Ken Burns. And then I'm going to click this arrow button up here, which will switch the end position. And the end position I want to be on the screen so that it finishes on the screen ready to transition into the next video clip and then the start the start green box what i'm going to do is just resize this and then drag it off the screen to the side 
I'm going to right click and make sure ease in and ease out is selected. Click done. So now my video clip comes on from the side into position. And let's just disable the bottom video clip so we can see how this works. It scrolls on from the side and finishes in position. And then I just want to do the same to the bottom video clip. Actually, an easier way to do this is delete that. I'm going to duplicate this. Click the invert mask, go to the Ken Burns and just drag the start position to the other side. That way I won't have to redo it. So now we have both layers animated. What I'm going to do is select them both and drag them over the first video clip. And then I'm going to re-enable my second video clip. And now we have this like split screen transition. If you want to speed up or slow down the speed of how the two frames come into the screen, then what you can do is just make these shorter and that will speed up the transition. Or if you want it to be nice and slow, then what you can do is extend them. And then what I'm going to do is add a bit of motion blur to these. Go over here to my titles tab and go to motion blur. Motion blur doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave the link to it in the description. It's a free download and it's like an extra plugin that you can add to Final Cut Pro. So you just drag that on and now you can see if I turn the motion blur on and off, it just adds a nice little effect to these as they come on and it makes transition a bit smoother. For this last transition, we have the hood of the car like splitting open with multiple layers. So for this one, what I'm going to do is freeze frame the end of the video clip. I'm going to go to the last frame of the video clip, hold down shift and press H. And then I'm going to press B on my keyboard to use a blade tool and cut, cut the freeze frame to separate it from the video clip. And then what I'm going to do is use the draw mask tool. So go to the effects, add on the draw mask tool and cut around the hood of the car, which is what I want to like separate and use to transition. Okay, so now we have this layer of the hood of the car. What I'm going to do is copy this freeze frame. So I'm going to hold down Alt, drag the video clip up and then go over here and invert the mask. So now I'm going to select the freeze frame, go to the crop tool, go to the Ken Burns. And I want the start green box to be around the project size. And then the end video clip, I'm going to zoom in to about there where the edge of the mask is. Click done. And then I'm going to select the freeze frame of the hood of the car, go to the crop tool, go to the Ken Burns effect and do the same thing. I'm going to make the end red square quite small and put it to the edge of where the mask is. So now we have this video of the two layers separating. And if we add the video clip underneath this, it should reveal the next video clip. To create the multiple layers, what I'm going to do is select these two freeze frames, right click and go to new compound clip. Select the freeze frame, hold down command and press R just to retime this because I want it to be a bit quicker than it is. To create different layers, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this. So hold down Alt and copy and paste that. I'm going to do it three times and then I'm going to hold down command and press R on the top video clip to retime this so it's faster than the two below. And then I'm going to retime this one so that it's faster than the bottom clip. So you should have it like this tiered effect. And then it creates these multiple layers, giving a really sort of unique transition. And then I'm going to drag my video clip underneath. And then I'm also going to add some motion blur to this. like I did in the previous transition. And yeah, there we go. That is the final transition on this video. I'll leave all the links to the plugins that I use down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.